The selection crisis is no joke. And, um, you know, I think that it's now night time that we have a bit of a roundtable discussion on this. And it's with that in mind that I present uh, segment two um, for today's episode. It is six harebrained schemes to neatly solve our selection crisis. This is important, isn't it? Mm. Because, you know, again, you can sling mud wherever you want in Australian cricket. I mean, we are in an, a, a veritable sea or ocean of negativity at the moment. Yes. So many problems, systemic players, selectors, schedules, yeah. you name it. Uh, someone's got a problem with it, but we need, we need solutions yeah, for it. Yeah, you're right, Pez. I mean, the selections are the number one talking point on, uh, on everyone's mm. tongues around the country. Tongues are a-wagging, and we're just going to join that discussion. I mean, the mm. whole Lava Shane thing, yeah. you know, the Marsh thing, oh, the whole thing. in out, mm. the Fitch, whole thing. where's he batting? Mm. You know, it's just a whole discussion, and we thought, well, people are, people are reaching out to the great cricketer, and what do they think? Yeah. Mm. What, what does the great cricketer think? Well, let's so neatly we've, solve it. We've, we'll neatly solve it. Mm. So we've got a couple of schemes, and as mm. I said, there's no wrong answers. Um, this is a roundtable discussion, so just throw out there whatever you will. Okay. The first idea or scheme that I have to solve our selection crisis is a postal it's vote. A postal vote. Yeah. Let's take it to the people. I mean, we've seen it done recently, um, mm. somewhat controversially, and yes, it co cost the nation $122 million. Oh, huge amount. Um, but it's a small price to pay in order to give the nation what they want. Yes. So I'm obviously calling on Scott Morrison and the Liberal National Government mm. to institute a postal vote. I don't care how much money it costs. Mm. We've got to find out what the people want and select the best team for the Ashes. Could, may I ask, without any preparation behind mm. here, what they're voting on? Well, there's going to be... It's like, a, you know, it's like filling out the Senate. It's going to mm. be a lot of text... Ah. And you just fill in your, you know, there's a of lot of those candidates. Those should be selectors. Yes, yeah. and got you it. go eleven down to one. You vote above and the then, line and below yeah, the line. And then, How to yeah. vote cards? As How you to get vote up. cards? Yeah. Yep. It's gonna I be mean, the biggest thing. concern, lads, would be if Russian hackers got involved, and all of a sudden, you know, a minus Labour shame batted three for Australia, for instance. Good that point. would be that would Good be the point. huge number one huge issue. Huge allegation. So um, postal vote. I think, I think, lads, uh, I mean, just reading this, uh, you know, because I've never read this before, yeah. uh, a lot of our plans are just going back to the old times, and this is no different because the next plan is to reinstate the entire 2001 site. Mm. I just think that things were better in yeah. 2001. Yeah. You know, sure, you could, you know, you could probably buy property, uh, you know, on one salary. It's great. Uh, you know, we avoided the Y2K crisis. Yes. Mm. Um, Stable you know. government. We knew where we stood, sort of, but not really. Yeah. Um, I just feel better with, like, the names. I knew who was going to play. The team was yeah. the team. Yeah. You know, the team was the team. <sighs> Hayden Langer, Pony, Michael Martin, Steve or Gilchrist. Mm. Yeah, one glass McGrath for me. Um, uh, oh, that's worrying, but uh, yeah. he goes, I mean, I would go a step further if I may okay. and say that even if tomorrow when Justin Langer announces the side for the Sri Lanka series, yep. which will absolve mm. all problems we've had until yes. this point um, when we load up on runs against someone coming last, um, I would venture that had he, if he actually picks the 2001 side, hmm and they walked out against Sri Lanka, I would feel good and I'd watch it. Mm, yep. And and it, as Hayden and Langer walk out to bat, I'd think, even if they failed, ah. I still feel good. I'd just wa watch the way Langer picks up the bat oh, or the yeah. way Hayden walks at bowlers. He can't oh. see it anymore It'd or whatnot. It'd just whatnot, be nice but... to see what they're up to as well, yeah. you know, just, just yeah. checking in. It's, it's like a survivor mm. reunion. You just want to mm. see what your favourite character's up to these yep. days. Exactly. Even though they've all got broadcast positions on either one of two networks. <laughs> The next thing, lads, uh, in terms of neatly solving the selection crisis mm. is to involve Simon Cadditch somehow. Mm. Uh, don't know exactly how just yet. Mm. Uh, so as we know, Australian cricket is ultimately a contest between the good blokes 11 and the bad blokes good 11. Cadditch, yes. um, as we all know, is captain of the good blokes yep. 11 and represents everything good about Australian cricket. He's had a great career. He's got the right attitude. He mm. takes on the right people. Yes. Um, it is an election year <laughs> after all in Australia. I don't yes. care where Simon Cadditch is placed. He could mm. be chairman of CA. He could overthrow Kevin Roberts now. Sorry, Kevin. Mm. Yes. He could be the president of the ACA. Sorry, Greg Dyer. So many opportunities. Or Nicholson as CEO. He could be selector. He could be captain. Mm. I don't really care. He could be number five. Get him in there somewhere, mm. somehow, and he will help neatly solve a neatly. issue. Neatly. He'll, he'll solve it really neatly, whatever he does. Um, the number four um, mm. harebrained scheme, and one that I hold quite dearly to my chest, is um, Trevor Hones and Greg Chappell. They're very senior members of the, um, the NSP, yep. the National Selection Panel. Mm. Um, but I've got a few little, little kind of uh, concerns about whether they're able to use the internet. Mm. So my suggestion would be to enrol both Trevor and Greg in a seniors computer literacy program. Mm -hmm. um, we need to fix the communication issue between the selectors and the public. Yeah. I don't know if uh, Trevor and Greg know how to use the internet. I'm not yeah. sure if they stream Shield matches on CATV. Yes. I'm not sure if they have Twitter accounts and yeah. they're able to see what Macca mm. or you know other blokes with you know internet and Twitter accounts mm. and 45 mm. followers are talking mm. yeah. and saying about yeah. the selections. I don't mm. think they're connected mm. to with what the public yeah, thinks. Yeah, that's right, Ados, and the experts are on Twitter. 
Um, mm. And we found that recently as well, just just scrolling, sc scrolling through the internet, and that's mm. where all the experts are. So just a um, short, you know, yeah. short course, maybe two weeks. Uh, mm. I know some telcos have have rolled out mm. such programs yeah. to tech make tech savvy seniors. Or tech something. savvy seniors, get them involved, get them online. Yeah, that's mm. the solution. It's one mm. of six. Okay, well, um, mine's a little bit more uh, sort of stable than that, uh, apart from grabbing those two deliberately. Um, but I think we just need to be copying England's. Now, you see a lot of this in other codes where you're just like, well, what are the All Blacks doing? You know, yeah. well, we should just do what the All Blacks are doing. And mm -hmm. what they're doing is churning out generational athletes on a daily basis again, mm. again and again. Mm. So we should just do that. But what, I want to know what England are up to. England, yeah. all of a sudden, are very good, you know. And failing that, you know, Ireland, they, yeah. you know, they 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 had a hundred score this year yeah. against Pakistan. Yeah. They had you someone know. score a ton. We didn't score a ton. Ergo, tons. let's do what they're doing. Let's do what they're <laughs> yeah. doing. I was very also simple. having a look at the the uh, fourth tier of the ICC uh, table this year. Uganda have got four mm. wins. That's that's one more than Australia. Just had three Test wins. What, I mean, what are Uganda up to? To be fair, Uganda very strong side at the moment. Mm. Yes. Um, but I mean, I just like to go. Overseas and see what they're doing. Okay. And finally, I think probably the most harebrained scheme of all uh, is to actually pick players based on merit using metrics such oh. as runs and wickets. I don't want to be overly <laughs> wild so. or anything like that, but suffice <laughs> to say, there are players in Australia who are performing at domestic level who aren't getting a look in. They evidently don't know the secret knock at the door to be selected for Australia. I'm and we are advocating a reversal of that policy um, and dare I say, um, reinstating the policy that has worked for over 100 years in Australian cricket and that is shield runs and wickets. Mm. Okay. Silly. Well, that wraps it up. I mean, six hair-brained, admittedly mm. hair-brained schemes to mm. solve, uh, to, well, to neatly, 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 neatly solve our selection crisis. I think we've done it.